Hello, good morning to all of you. Uh, so today, as Gargi said, we came here for having a breakfast, and it's very famous gota bhaji, uh, which is served along with the uh, kadi, and uh, papa is also very famous, and jalebi also. So first, we have order for this bhaji. Uh, it's a pakoda kind bhaji. This is served with the kadi. So I'll show you how it is, and also we'll let you know how it tastes. So this is uh, gota bhaji. Which is very famous here, and it is served with this curry. Then we have order for this uh, poha, and uh, they have uh, added uh, shave on it and chopped onions. Okay, so now let's have taste of methi palak pakoda. Am I right? Now let's have a taste. It's crispy outside, perfectly cooked from inside. Wow, the flavors of coriander leaves are just roaming inside that pakoda. And I guess I added a little bit of sugar in it. That chili inside, the spicy one, not the parrot chili. It's flaming hot chili. They also serve your curry, so now let's have a taste with that as well. It's piping hot. Hmm. The curry is sweet. Good. So we have kanda na na do, parto na nahi the niya par parto. We have also ordered for samosa. It's piping hot. And I have to take the, the care here because there are small, small uh, chilies in the samosa, and therefore I have, I have to eat with a perfect care. The samosa is crunchy from outside, but it's packed with flavors from inside. For a famous jalebi, so Gargi will tell you how is the taste. The jalebi has soaked the sugar syrup perfectly. It's like a normal jalebi. Good. So after doing pet puja, we are now at Kumbhalgarh, and I am super excited to learn the history of Kumbhalgarh. So now let's go.
Umalgarh is a great wall of Bharat. It is a Mewar fortress. It is located about 84 km from Udaipur. It is a World Heritage Site included in hill forts of Rajasthan. It was built during the 15th century by Rana Kumha. Rampol is the main entrance of the fort. There is another entrance towards the east called Vijaypur. Kumbhagad is built on a hill top 1100 meter above the sea level on the Aravalli range. The fort of Kumbhagad has perimeter walls that extend 36 km making it among the longest walls in the world. The frontal walls are 4.5 m. Kumbhagad has seven fortified gateways. There are over 360 temples within the fort, both Jain and Hindu temples. From the palace top, it is possible to see kil- uh, to see kilometers into the Aravalli range. The fort's walls are so wide that eight horses can walk a breast through it. You have to cross seven massive gates before entering the fort. Each consecutive gate is narrower than the previous one. The gates were constructed in this manner so that elephants and horses can enter the fort beyond a certain point. King Samprati, who is believed to be the builder of the original fort, was the grandson of Emperor Ashok. Pagala Pole is a historical landmark located in Kumbhalgarh, Rajasthan. This is the place where horses were kept. So the temple here we see is very ancient temple of Maa Durga and at inside Kumbha Palace it is the Kul Devi's mandir Kumbha Palace is located close to the Pagala Pole. This palace is one of the finest examples of Rajput architecture. This is the place in Kumbhalgarh where King Maharana Pratap was born and इथे आपण नतमस्तक होया आणि पुढे जाऊया Badar Mahal is the highest point in the Kumbhalgarh fort famously known as the Palace of Clouds It is located at the top of the Kumbhalgarh. Badal Mahal is a two-story palace. Kumbhalgarh also separated Mewar and Marwar from each other. Nrikantha Mahadev Temple is located at 500 meters away right side of uh, Hanuman Pole at Kumbhalgarh. 
which is 96 kilometers away from Udaipur city. Shivling is 6 feet height which is made from black stone and one of the biggest shivling of Bharat which is built in 1458 AD by Maharana Kumbha. Temple is so beautiful and it creates devotion towards Lord Shiva. Fish point near Kumbhalgar fort. The fish point is basically a small lake known as Hamripal Lake. The lake is the home to thousands of African catfish. They are present in the lake in a number that might frighten some while some might feel a bit uneasy to watch such a huge number of catfish accumulating to be fed. But literally they are a sight not to be missed.